men love just about everything, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they don't like when you take that wig off. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Wait, how do you mean? <laughs> For us women. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. I she know exactly what I'm talking about. If you got a wig and it's your first time with your dude, Girl. keep that wig. I don't yes. know what you need to it's do. Sew it on, clip it strap on, it on Wait, strap Lonnie, it on with it a on. helmet. Everybody. Yes. It. You can't take that wig Lonnie. off. Everybody ain't ready for the Leroy braid. Exactly. Oh, Everybody. Ain't ready for it. <laughs> you know, one time I was getting it on, right? And I kept my wig on. I knew I was like, I was getting it, y'all, you know. <laughs> I was feeling good. I was looking good. It was a good night. Everything was flowing, right? And then he grabbed her hand. <laughs> It was, oh my God. I'm gonna tell y'all, it was like, what did you do? And hey, you know what I did? What did you what? do? We kept doing it. That's what we did. <laughs> One time I was on a date at sushi. I'll never forget this. Yes. I had some, they're like stickers, they're double stick tape, uh, and you just put them right in there. It's like a highlight, right? Like my blonde pieces. I think it was some old tape, to be honest with you. That's some tape that we had already used on yeah. some other photo shoots. Sorry, Ray, I love you so much. Okay. And I'm sitting there at having sushi, and yo, the hair just fell out. And it was on my shoulder. It was like hanging right here, just a piece of hair. I was like, oh, oh my, my God. God. So, the, so literally, imagine my man is sitting across from me, and I promise it to you, I've never grabbed hair out so fast and shoved it in my purse. But the hair was just falling out. Like, my, my highlights were just hitting the ground. I never have time to, okay, so like right now, this whole thing is fake. Doesn't it, it hurts my head so much. Like right now when I smile, I can feel it. That after work, I always go out for drinks or dinner or something. And at the table, after a couple of drinks, I won't really be thinking about what I'm doing. And I'm, you know, you're just uncomfortable. No, I will start unclipping and taking them right out. What? On the table. What? All the time. You tell y'all. All the time, you every you. time. One time I was at church, right? And I had a little bun like yours up. <laughs> and I was getting the feeling. You I shot started your bun? <laughs> Trying to do that church dance, and I started bobbing her head. Yeah, you can't show your went running down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. Oh my God! And oh my God! Body, that is you horrible. You gotta hold on to your bun while you're shopping. <laughs> yeah, Virginia, homie, you can't get that drunk when you're pulling out your hair, homie. Yeah, okay, I, but I do. I get too comfortable, and the more uh -uh. comfortable you get, the more. When, when you state? get comfortable no. in your mind, you start feeling the things that make you uncomfortable. So you start unloosening your belt, no. you start wiping off that wet blood, no. and you start unclipping no. your extensions. And I just put it right there on the table because I don't care. I just like throw it on there because whoever's with me, if they've got a problem with it, they shouldn't be with me in the no, first you're place. Y'all, one time I was an engineer and I was giving a really important meeting, right? What you do now? <laughs> Oh, it was a brand new wig, and that was just when I started wearing wigs, you know. And so I was giving this presentation, and I was like, because, you know, we have to get this year's projections, and I could feel it slipping off. Because I didn't no. put a wig cap on, and nobody told me because I didn't put yeah. a wig cap. And as I was talking, the white people was looking at me like... <laughs>